That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right, bet. Yo. All right, bet, 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 bet. Okay. Let's go. We gonna click record at the same time, okay? All right, bet, bet, bet. Hold on. We got to get this right. All right, all right, all right. You have it plugged into your phone? Yeah. Why is it blinking? You tested the sound? Yeah, I'll touch the sound. Hey, yo, let me do it again. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, 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 Red, no, red. Blink, it's blinking. Blinking. When you plug it in. See? Hold on, we got down. How you turn it off real quick? Hold on. Like, you reset it on some shit. Yeah, let's just do it on my phone. Just to play safe. Alright, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to play safe. Fuck yeah. it. Hey! Oh shit, we live. <laughs> we laughing the whole time. Not that, not that whole time. Like, oh like a God, like damn! Yeah, I'll be, I'll be getting on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right, hey, that's right. too funny. All right, so we about to go live. That's too funny. In... in three, two, one. All right. Make sure everything good. Yo. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Hey, hey! What's good? What's good? Welcome to the Two Cut Talks, and I got a very, very, very special intellectual guest today. Period. You feel me? Go ahead, introduce yourself. What's good, y'all? My name is Sticks. You can find me everywhere at I'm Sticks River. I M S T Y X R I V E R. What's good? Hey, hey! So look, first off, I want to ask you just off the dome right now. Okay. Because this is your speciality, right? Mm-hmm. What is numerology and why is it important for people to know about numerology though? So, um, numerology, I feel like it's just the language. Well, it's the study of the language of the universe. Everything is made in numbers. You know, that's why they say numbers don't lie, people lie. So when you look at the world, you look at even our mountains, our mountains are made from sacred geometry. You get what I'm saying? This has mm. been studied since ancient Egypt when it went to back to astrology. I mean, when we go to locations and coordinates and, you know, numbers is literally everything, our cell counts, like frequencies, vibrations. That's why Nikolai Tesla said, if you want to understand the universe, study frequency, vibration, sound, and energy. And we all know energy can all be calculated, frequency, vibration, through numbers. All right, bet. Let's, let, let's freak they mind, real because let's freak they mind. So look, bit. hey, that's a bet, that's a bet. Oh, okay. Hold on, wait, let me die. Yo. Hey, so look. I'm listening. I'm here. Let's freak they mind real quick. You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm gonna use me as a test subject. You feel me? So All right. break down my number and like code. Like I know you got a life path number. You so got... tell everybody your birthday. All right. So my birthday is 10 11 2002. So I so, think I'm a life path seven. October 11 2002. Number yeah. one. Let's talk about the fact that you share the same birthday as Aiden Ross. All right, so it you. makes sense why you're great at being, you know, famous on the internet and great at being an influencer. Yeah. One of the biggest streamers is Aiden Ross, right? Yeah. Now, um, let's also talk about the fact that you're a seven life path. Seven is the number of the spiritual and um, seven is the number of the teacher. What do you do? You teach spirituality. Look at seven. Seven starts with S. Spiritual starts with S. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so that's just another thing. You like to spend time by yourself. Oh, yeah, for sure. For <laughs> you sure, feel for me? Sure, for sure, for um, sure. I need my solitude. Bro. Exactly. You have a short attention span when it comes to nonsense, dumb people, and anything that is ignorant. Is that accurate? Facts. Like, bro, once wow. things start getting, like, If it's ignorant, not for my purpose, oh, exactly. nah, 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 it's getting cut for sure once automatically. It, once it, once it, so I say, so this is the same person that different fuck, I can't. So when you start, and it's crazy because we both seven life paths. Yeah, 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 so that's yeah. so, this just goes to show that numerology is real. You know, you're born the year of the horse. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can be a little bit stubborn, a little bit hard headed. But the horse, if you look at horses, most of the time they're used to work. Mm -hmm. So you like to work hard. Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant was born the year of the horse. He's known for his work ethic. I just got chills saying that. Also, hey, hey. also another thing, because you're born the year of the horse, your mm -hmm. enemy sign is the rat. 
and the year of the rat was 2020. How was 2020 for you? I ain't gonna lie, it was very, it was deep though. Like I blew up on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? My life was going good, but like, it was deep though. Like it was like very changing, you mm -hmm. feel me? In all type of ways on all spectrums. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, anything that deals with rats or anything, you really don't get along with, but your friendly energy is the dog and the tiger. So you're probably really good with dogs. When dogs come around, they probably really love your energy. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I give y'all an example of somebody who's a dog. Lil Baby is a dog, right? And when you look at Lil Baby, what's the one joke that everybody talk about? Lil Baby look like a dog. That's because he's born the year of the dog. Also, Lil Baby's first big song was called that's my, my dog, dog yeah. show. Exactly. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Exactly. That's crazy. Hold on. So I wanna so hold on. So somebody viewing this right now is like, okay, what is a dog? What is a horse? Like, what is all this? Like So that's Chinese astrology. Um, you know, Western astrology is it's accurate. Do I think it's the most accurate? I don't really know if it's the most accurate. What I've noticed is that Chinese astrology has been accurate. Like whenever I say, hey, this was a bad year for you, they, they're they like, yes. But the reason why I feel like Chinese astrology is more accurate is because Chinese astrology deals with the elements here on this earth. Western mm. astrology deals with the elements and the, well, the different planets. So that's why, you know, when it comes to water, we get affected by the water. When it comes mm -hmm. to the earth and the ground and the, all these different, the soils, the mud, the, you know what I'm saying? All these different elements, it's we get as closest to us and it easily impacts us. You get me? That's so, facts. Yeah. That's facts. That's fair. You was spinning. Hey, mm -hmm. I got another question for you, though. So how do you become more magnetic as an individual? Wow, I love that question. So honestly, magnetism, you know, we have to understand again, Nikolai Tesla talked about everything is energy. If you want to understand the universe, and I'm going to keep quoting that, if you want to understand the universe, you have to think about it in terms of frequency, sound, energy, and vibration. So the thing about it is that let's just use an example of there's a table and there's water, a glass of water on the table. When yeah. I hit that table down, that water is going to be impacted because of the energy, right? Mm -hmm, so what you have exactly. So what you have to understand is that if you want to become more magnetic, you number one need to ask yourself, what do you want to become more magnetic towards? Is it money? Is it people? Is it women? Is it jobs? Is it opportunities? Abundance. Is it exactly? So when you say that I want to become more abundant and you want to be more magnetic towards abundance, let's first break down the word magnetic, okay? I always say the word magnetic starts with M-A, right? What also starts with M-A? Matrix. What also starts with M-A? Material. So the fact that you said abundance and is math, because in math. the matrix is numbers, you feel me? Exactly. <laughs> hey, see, see, you see what I'm saying? So exactly, math, magnetic, matrix, material, manifest. You feel me? So we have to use our energy by becoming what it is that we want and aligning with that frequency, with that vibration, because that's the only way that you can become aware of anything. You have to become it. So how do I become something to magnetize it? Number one, you have to know what it is first. So if you say, hey, I want to be more beautiful, right? That means that you first have to see what's inside yourself, the beauty. the beauty, right? And once you become more aware, once you become more aware of something, it becomes more powerful. So if you want to become more abundant, you have to become aware of the abundance that's already within your life using gratitude because gratitude is also something that makes you more magnetic because what it says is that whatever you're being grateful for, you're saying that you already have it. And by you saying that you already have it, needing nothing, so now you don't need it because you already have it, needing nothing attracts everything. Facts, because, and I, and I add to that, when you say you need something, you have already put yourself in that state of vibration of lack. lack. You see what I'm saying? So at this point, it's like you got to understand when you're working with the universe, when you're working with divine, it's like you're going to get rewarded based on how you feel. You feel like you need something, so you're going to keep needing something. Oh, you thought you was going to get blessed because, oh, you feel like you need something. No, 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 no. you getting blessed with that vibration of, oh, I need something, mm -hmm. so you lack it. You know what I'm saying? And I also exactly. want to add to that magnetism point that you was talking about. When people, when you, when it comes to manifesting, you need to become whatever you want. Be, you yep. see what I'm saying? Be, become. Do, once you be have, it, like that's true. Said, yo. But once you be, it comes. Facts. And then you became, right? Facts. So you be, 
and it comes and now it's past tense because it came already. A lot of people think they shouldn't have that mindset like, oh, I shouldn't think I'm already that because if I feel like that, then I'm not going to work towards that. What are you talking about? That's not like true. people believe when they get to the top of the mountain, like, oh, you thought it was going to use, going to stop working once you get to the top of the mountain. That's why you ain't the that's top not of the mountain true. now. Because that's what I'm saying. You always, yep. it's no top of the mountain. You always going to keep going. Exactly. Let's say your manifestation is you want to be the best streamer in the world, right? Once you have become that, by, you become that by actually doing that. Yo, if you're the best streamer in the world, why are you not streaming five to six days a week? Because that's what the best streamer in the world exactly. do. Exactly. You gotta do be it. You have. see what I'm saying? Once you become the best basketball player in the world, you playing basketball all, every those, day. all those habits that you built to become the best basketball player in the world is so ingrained in you that you naturally do it. Even though you may not be chasing after something because guess what? You've stopped chasing because you already have it, right? So you have become the best, the best basketball player player and on that journey to becoming you naturally grew the habits which is the do part so you did what you needed to do and that's why you have and the next thing you know Thanks. it just becomes a cycle man that's too hard hey i got a question on oh, matter of fact nah actually let's get some tips on how somebody can become more magnetic i feel like somebody can become more magnetic because like what's actual steps we telling people yeah, how to become it so look i'm gonna give some tips on how to actually become more magnetic so I think the first way is you definitely want to get into your meditation zone. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I agree. Every morning, every night, for sure, for sure. But see, this is the thing, right? People think meditation is just, oh, that's just to clear your mind or whatever. Once you, okay, if you a person like me, you ain't really got nothing dealing with your mind. Like you don't have no intrusive thoughts. You're yep. not trying to clear your mind. It's time you to build. Your, security. It's time to build yep. now. Now you now you're not trying to cut out nothing out your life. You ain't trying to clear nothing out you're your head. To, yep, now it's like time that. to build into that meditation. Because so now you at this point, the foundation. Facts. So now at this point, boom. Now it's time to visualize things that you want to actually bring into your life. But once you visualize these things, once you visualize you being the best streamer, you being the best basketball player, don't just visualize the thing. You actually have to visualize it to get that feeling. And once you get that feeling of being the best basketball player, being the best streamer, now it's like. Mm, keep that lock in on that feeling. Mm -hmm. What does that feel and like? And always remember that feeling. Make that feeling you. I Make that feeling back. you. You see what I'm saying? Go I want to go back to when you said the foundation part. I think that was so beautiful that some people might have even like let that cross their yeah. head. So what he's talking about when it comes to foundation, what he's saying is that you have to realize that before you can start asking for something new, you need to get rid of all of the bugs in your foundation because some of y'all foundation, you couldn't believe that you abundant even if you wanted to because of other people's voices that you have in your head or other people's beliefs that you have already accepted before. So until you wipe that computer clean, until you clean that apartment out and remove all the old furniture, you can't bring in new furniture. You get me? So y'all need to get rid of that old life so you can build the new life and kill that old self. You got to let go to grow. You feel me? Exactly. Hey, hey, you got to let go to grow. Hey, look. Break down all the numbers for me. So, for instance, right, when I say break down all the numbers for me, because you were expert in numerology, what does one mean? What does two mean? What is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Okay. One is the leader. One is, um, can be argumentative. One can be, um, athletic. Mm -hmm. One can be very active. Um, I already said argumentative. I said argumentative? Yeah. I'm going to say that one more time. Argumentative. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, they, can be, like they, can be, new, they can be very oh, 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 Yeah. So one also represents, I'm talking about like people wise. Oh, people wise. People okay. wise. People, the people who are one life paths are born on a one day. They can be argumentative. They can be athletic, active. They can be leaders. Um, they can be bossy. Now, one days, you may find yourself arguing more. You may start to find yourself starting new things. When it comes to two, two is the feminine, right? So two energy, if you're born on the second, you're very peaceful. You're very feminine. You're very um, uh, connected to that, 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 that connection, that camaraderie. Like, like I want to I wanna have peace, companion, okay? Mm -hmm. um, three is the child, the creative, um, the, the, the communicator. So people who are born on three days, people who are three life paths, they talk a lot sometimes, mm -hmm. or um, they're very creative, they're very childish sometimes. Maybe they have a short attention span. If it's a three day, let's say September 3rd or December 3rd, that's a great day to create something. You get what I'm saying? Um, four is law and order. So people who are born on the fourth, um, don't do crime. I mean, yeah, don't do crime because you're gonna get caught. That's why on four <laughs> days, 
on four days you may find yourself always seeing the cops or on four days you always get a ticket or, or don't don't do nothing illegal on four days people who are also four if you look at the word ocd o adds up to six c adds up to three d adds up to four that adds up to 13 which again is four so people who are born on four days or four life paths tend to be very ocd and very structured they work hard okay four they don't cut corners yeah square they don't they don't they don't cut corners you feel me five is highly sexual energy they love to travel they're beautiful they're the model um um they can also be great athletes too um, um they're very health conscious but um they they love to change their mind a lot too they're very like back and forth with the winds because it's change five is the number of change six is the number of home um if you look at the word home it has o in it the first the first vowel in home is o which adds up to six right so home loyal um people also born with six if you ever seen six and nine People will be like, no, that looks like six. No, that looks like nine. So people with six energy tend to have different perspectives than everybody else and can sometimes feel like a outsider. You feel me? Or they can be in the occult, right? Um, seven, which is us, are very spiritual people. They like to be by themselves because we understand spiritual people understand um, that, that uh, what's the word? Um, isolation, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. That, that time by themselves. Um, sevens like to read, sevens like to study, sevens like to sometimes, you know what I'm saying, do what they got to do because seven, spiritual smoke, you know what I'm saying, that's what it is. Eights are about the money, you get what I'm saying, seven, learn, eight, it's earn, you feel me? Nine are very adaptive. Eight. Eleven, eleven is emotional, eleven can be um, very, very famous people too. If you look at some of the most famous people in the world, Michael Jackson, born on the 29th, two plus nine is eleven. Then we have 22. 22 is the master builder. I believe it's George Washington that founded America, right? Or was the first president of America, built up America. Guess what? 22. Also, I want to talk about the fact that Stranger Things was built or made on the 22nd. That's why they have such a strong dynasty. So if you want to build something that's very um, long lasting, like look at America, Put it on the 22nd also v is the 22nd letter in the alphabet that's why virgos are really good at building people up you feel me 33 is the master number the influencer that's why they said jesus christ died at 33 so when you see 33s those people tend to be the best at what they do i'll give you an example um 33s tend to be trailblazers so a lot of times people may not understand them right because three plus three is six so they have a outside a different perspective right but 33s tend to be the first ones to do something. So if you look at XXS Tentacion, he was a 33 life path. And he started a whole new genre of screamo rap. And when he came out, everybody wanted to be like him. You feel me? So that's just an example of what numbers can do. Hey, that's hard. That's hard. So, like, I got one thing, right, when it comes to um breaking down numbers. So in terms of, you was talking about people, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now in terms of talking about people, what about in terms of just adding up the days because each day equals a number? Yeah. So let's say if today, what is today? What is today? Equal? Today is 22. So that's the light. So there's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's the day that it is and there's the life path of the day. So that's the thing. Your birthday could be on the 23rd, which mm -hmm. is me. But on. Uh, so like first, let's use you. Right. Yeah. So October 11, mm -hmm. 2002. You're born on the 11, right? Mm -hmm. But you're a seven life path because your birthday adds up so to like seven. 7 11. Exactly. <laughs> so, so today is 22, 6. So when you add up today, today is 9 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3. So that adds up to 22. September 6, 2023. Exactly. So I'll give you a hack though, right? The year adds up to 7. So just do 9 plus 6 plus seven and that's how you get it and then today's also a six day so it's a great day to stay home it's a great day to be with family and friends because guess what family and friends is this f it starts with f mm -hmm. which is the sixth letter in the alphabet what y'all have to understand is letterology connects to numerology yeah. and this is all oh, i just want to give a shout out this is gg33 where i learned this from I always got to pay respect to where i learned this information from so if y'all ever want to learn more about it just go on tiktok just go on instagram twitter and just look up gg33 that's how we met we met on that podcast yeah, okay yeah, yeah, so just want to sure. let y'all know i'm always going to pay homage to the teachers that i learned it from the teacher that i learned it from was a 30 well he is a 33 life path and he actually helped the warriors win a championship that's why they're called the warriors and their quote is strength in numbers
Hey, that's facts. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, 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 I got another one for you though, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you protect your subconscious mind from negativity? Okay, so um, I have a whole different way of thinking about how most people think about it. Mm -hmm. um, I believe our brain is a computer and the same way that your computer has a passcode on it, your subconscious mind also has a passcode on it if you put one, Fact. right? So I recommend everybody go watch the movie Inception because the movie Inception talks about how people plant ideas in your subconscious mind and you would never know through your dreams. You see a lot of y'all be having dreams and be seeing people in your dreams and you be wondering what they doing there. You gotta realize that dreams are not really false because if you look at the word dream, it has R-E-A in it. If you look at the word real, it has R-E-A in it. If you look at the word realm, it has R-E-A in it. It's your consciousness right? and your brain. So it's another reality, R-E-A. Mm -hmm. So what All you have mind. to understand is that you have to have your own identity and be strong on what your morals are so that way nobody can plant an idea the same way that people can get in your computer and plant a virus. So how I feel like you can protect yourself, number one, is know what you stand for. You right? have to believe your thoughts more than other people's thoughts. Your, exactly. You. And, and, and one thing that I talk about that in my magnetism class is you have to realize that realities matter, right? So let's say our auras are both connected, right? And you may say, you know what? I think sticks is red. I think sticks is the color red. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm brown, right? But I believe that I'm brown stronger and more firmly than he believes I'm red. Eventually, his reality will start to shift to where he will see me as the color brown because my reality and my will is stronger than his beliefs to the point that my belief, like an energy, like a Wi-Fi, like Bluetooth, he will naturally get connected to my reality. So that's why I say exactly you have to be careful who you're around because if somebody believes something about you stronger than what you believe about yourself, your subconscious mind might just get hacked. Facts. I feel like a way you can reprogram your subconscious mind, this is also a gym. I feel like a good way to reprogram your subconscious mind is listen to affirmations as you go to sleep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Of course, meditation, but definitely listen to affirmations as you go that to theta sleep. That theta state. Yeah, that theta state because when you go, exactly, when you go to sleep, your theta state is more open to receive messages. Mm -hmm. And you're moving in the realms. Yup, yup, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So be mind, and that's another thing too, be mindful of like, what you do before you go to bed i feel like yep. that's very important you know what i'm saying like what you do when you first wake up and what you do as soon as you go to bed mm -hmm. is too important it's mm -hmm. like and sticks was talking about this the other day on another live it's like a lot of people get up and then the first thing they start doing is giving to the world you get up and start checking yep. social media you get up and start calling people you get up like bro did you even tell yourself you love yourself today exactly. you know what i'm saying like did yep. you did you even like did you even like meditate did you go work out like you got to give to yourself before you give to other people you exactly. see what i'm saying make sure you straight before you make sure everybody else straight you see exactly. what i'm saying i want to i want to go back to what you said about mm -hmm listening to something before you go to sleep and this connects back to the subconscious programming mm -hmm. and the in the security system so what you have to understand is in inception they started to plant ideas as he was going to sleep because that is where the security wall is at now this is based off of the cia um gateway um document you guys probably know about that in the cia gateway document i don't know if you if you heard about this so i'm gonna tell you about it mm -hmm. in the cia gateway document they call it biofeedback and they prove that manifestation is real Thanks, and the yeah. way that they prove it is there's the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain the logical side of the brain is the security system yep, the right side, yep. the right side of the brain I, I could have it mixed up the right side of the brain should be the the creative yeah, the creative right aspect creative. yeah so the feminine the creative aspect is able to take in more take in more take in more while the logical side of the brain like you know like a masculine figure is like what's this who's coming this doesn't make sense that's why sometimes when you're the most alert you're trying to program yourself but the side of your brain is like that's not true that's not because it's analytical it's logical yeah. it's like we don't have evidence this doesn't make sense so when you're going to sleep that security system it's is down. no longer there so that way whatever you're implanting that's why when y'all ask your mom something when she's going to sleep she's more like most likely to say yes y'all ain't, no. ain't hear that from me though huh. y'all ain't hear that from me though you feel me that's a little magnetism tip y'all ain't hear that from me though you feel me so at the end of the day right when you're starting to head to sleep that's the best time because that defense mechanism that logical side of the brain is not being so judgmental and it's more open to receive what you're trying to create 
Nah, that's facts though. And I feel like another way that you can tap into your right side of your brain while you awake though, do things with your left hand. You you play basketball, dribble with your left hand, brush your teeth, you know what I'm saying? Brush your teeth with your left hand. You on your phone, use your left hand. Get more comfortable with using your left hand if you right handed. You see what I'm saying? Hey, next question though. Ooh. Hey, this lit though. I don't know why this hard. Like, this <laughs> hey, hey! Now look, how can someone stay focused and dedicated? with their purpose in life or what they want to do in life in general environment is very important you see your environment can force you to get in alignment mm -hmm. and the thing about it is that and i'm learning that a lot just by being here environment plays a very big role if you want to change you need to change the environment if you look at the word environment it starts with e right e is the fifth letter letter in the alphabet so you need to change the environment if you want to see change you feel me so a lot of y'all are hanging out with people that are normalizing certain behaviors that Touch you didn't this. even realize was affecting you so they're normalizing going to the club every weekend that you think well this is what we're supposed to do at 20 and 21 years old but in a it's different a environment right in a different environment the business people are like on the weekends we're actually inside because in the weekends, that's where all the nine to five people are going out. We hang out. <laughs> I, I'm telling you how it is. Yeah, for sure. The, when, every millionaire that I hung out with, like, they really don't like weekends. They don't like going to the mall on the weekends. They don't like going out on the weekends because the same that's that where way. everybody's oh out. Oh they like to go during the weekday. But if you weren't hanging out with people like that, that's a whole reality that you were never aware of. So if you want to change your reality and get more focused on what you need to do, you need to change something within your environment. Nothing changes if nothing changes. You Sometimes I mean? your thoughts aren't even your thoughts. It's and literally other, you know what I'm saying? It's literally other that, people's I thoughts. Felt you that. feel me? For real though. And it's like, I, I just said this like in my uh, group chat on Instagram. I literally just said this. is like, yo, you got two types of people. Oh, wait, hold on. What, what, what happened? Somebody said weak end. Yeah, exactly. You weak as hell on that. <laughs> weak <laughs> end. And what do people and do on weekends? Get weak. Yeah, facts though. So if I, I feel like it's like this is like I feel like you could choose to have fun in many ways. Mm -hmm. You can choose to have fun by going to the club, having sex with random people you don't know. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Indulging in toxic, uh, toxic behaviors. Like you can have fun like that. That's fun. Don't get it effed up. Like I'm not perfect. Like I didn't did that before. I don't do that no more. But I didn't did that before in the past. You can have fun with that. But understand that there's no such thing as a consequence. Everything is a reward, mm -hmm. okay? Or you can have fun with you gonna, you being around people. You're going to rewarded with a lesson. Yo, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can have fun with surrounding yourself around people that's on the same type of time as you. You can have fun with surrounding yourself around people that's, yo, hey, y'all trying to go work out in the morning? Like, you can have fun with doing things productive, but have fun with destroying yourself as well. Mm -hmm. You got to choose what fun you want to have, though. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's all about choices and exactly. being aware of it. You feel me? And, and, and fun is such a perception because you could think something is fun just because that's all you've experienced. Because everybody, and because everybody else think that it's fun. And they tell you that it's fun. So that's the exactly. reality being exactly. imposed on you. Exactly. That's why I say you really got to have a strong identity to know, mm, I don't know if I really like that. You feel me? Yeah, so, don't yeah. fall under peer pressure. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing I want to really touch on, so this is like a lot of people, and I think like conscious people in general try to use this like, oh, I'm aware of what I'm doing. Like a lot of people understand and they're aware of their toxic behaviors and they're aware that they're stabbing themselves and poisoning yep. themselves but they'd be like oh i'm aware of it so it's okay everything is a balance the fuck you talking about <laughs> you know what i'm saying like what no, you mean that, everything that, is a balance like no 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 it's like me personally is like yo that like, they, do you know what that means what? when you what did i say before i said when you become aware of something you give it more power it becomes more powerful so the fact that you are like aware, addiction yo. exactly so the fact that you are aware of the addiction or you are aware of what's hurting you it actually makes it more painful to yourself that's why they be talking about ignorance is bliss so now you're not ignorant to it and you're still doing it you're actually hurting yourself 10 times more because every time you consume it you know what's happening so your knowingness is manifesting it even Man. more once you become aware of something it's time to nip that in the bud and matter of fact what's the question that i asked you because i want to answer the, the, the question the purpose myself. how do people oh, get yeah, yeah, yeah. How, do, how do how do people stay focused on what they want to do in life it's about routine week, routine also. but it's really just about you actually have to become that person a lot of people when they get on, you know what I'm saying, they have goals in life. It's like, you want to become this billionaire. You want to become this successful person, whatever the case may be. But it's like, you're not even focused on becoming that before you 
run after it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And this is why have. you can't. And this is why, like, oh, I don't feel motivated to do this, or I don't feel dedicated to do this. That's because you still the same bitch ass nigga you was before you even came up with that plan. You exactly. see what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. So, like, in the fact yeah. that you just said that, you said you said they're not motivated. It's because you're trying to do without becoming that version. Exactly. Because you can't. You don't have to motivate Kobe to do what's in his nature. If you become Thanks. that person, it's gonna become your nature, and then whatever it is that you're seeking seeking is going to naturally come to you that's why i've been telling y'all everybody need to comment in this video on this live be do have people are teaching you what to do so you can have what they have but they're not teaching you who to be and how to be you feel me von two cut look p game von two cut ain't gotta get motivated to go to the gym because von two cut just go go to the gym. gym you see what i'm saying von two cut Ain't gotta get motivated to pull out the camera because I'ma just do that. Exactly. Von 2 could ain't gotta get motivated to go to the studio because I'ma just go to the studio. Hey, hey, you feel exactly. me? That's just what I'm it's gonna natural. do. That's just it's what I'm natural. gonna do. I love doing that. It's like it's like and I said this on another podcast. It's like, yo, imagine if imagine sticks. I see this all the time. Imagine if I can't even say, hey, hey sticks, I need discipline to have sex with my girl. It sounds like you just don't love having sex with your girl. It sounds like you don't like if somebody come to me like, yo, bro, I need I need discipline on on, on working out. It's like, yo, to me, it just sounds like the person you, just you don't are yep. right now doesn't love working out. You need to kill the person that you are right now, destroy that person, become a new person, a person that loves working out. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to be able to work out even on the days you don't like working exactly. out. Exactly. Love, so natural. love is the thing that fuels discipline. Kobe, for example, right? Kobe always was in the gym, always was playing basketball, even on the days he didn't want to play basketball, bro. He literally had a broken, what was it, a broken arm? A, a it broken was a, wrist. It, yeah, I, got, I, I got that picture on Instagram. Exactly. This literally, he had a broken wrist and he was still in the gym shooting. I, I it's because touch on that. PK, exactly, it's because, yo, when you love something so much, them days when you get out the bed also, like, dang, do I really want to do it? I mean, I love that shit too much. We doing it. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Wanna, Let's go. I love it too much. I, I, I want to show y'all something too, real quick. This is something that I learned, right? In my in my time, mm -hmm. you have to be the energy. Like like you cannot keep complaining about, but they don't want to do this. They not let. They not lit. They not this. You see this man? He's gonna be the energy in the room, and that's one thing about fire. Like especially if you're a fire sign, y'all need to be the energy in the room. But going back to the Kobe situation. I actually watched a video of Kobe explaining his process and he said he did a, a backwards effect. So that's why I say be, do, have. He asked himself, okay, what do I, like, who do I want to be, mm -hmm. right? Like, if I say that I want to be the best basketball player in the world, so he identified who do I want to be, the best basketball player in the world. Okay, so now that I said I want to be the best basketball player in the world, what do I need to do? So then he said, okay, every summer I'm going to rework backwards from that version of yourself. So ask yourself, which version of yourself do you want to be? I want to be the most abundant version of myself. So work backwards. What does this version of me do? So this version of me is an investing type of person. What's okay? the schedule of this exactly. person? This person day day. What's the routine? This person is an investor, right? So Kobe was like, oh, I got to work on mid-range this summer, right? Over time, because he started to build up those habits and become that person that naturally works on himself, he started to have plus more than what he asked for. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Kobe, Kobe understood mindfulness. Kobe understood meditation. Kobe understood imagination. I am. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all need to realize that. Start studying people who are like you. And he, the reason why he mentioned mm -hmm. Kobe Bryant was because he's born the year of the horse. Kobe Bryant born the year of the horse. So, you know. Hey, that's hard. So, and he was an 11 life path. He's born on an 11 day. Mm. Oh, you said Kobe 11 life path? Co damn. Yeah, I know, right? That damn. Hit. Yeah, yeah, damn. Okay, mm -hmm. hey, bet. So, look, very, very special question I got right here. I feel like a lot of people need to hear this. What are some of the most important things that you have learned by being around millionaires? Okay, so I'm going to let y'all know. Um, I used to literally, like, record millionaires and create content for them. And I would be there in those private conversations. Um, I was around Les Brown. I used to hear his private conversations. He used to call me, send me, send me little videos, send me mm -hmm. texts, and you know, helping me out, teaching me things. And um, the one thing I want to say, say that question one more time because I want to make sure I hit it. Bet. What are the most important things? I mean, like the most important things that you have learned about being around millionaires? Routine, routine. And the reason why I say routine is because out of all the millionaires that I've asked, the one thing that they've always said is 
routine. What is your routine? We talked about this on the last podcast episode. What, what was I saying? What you got to manage your time and make your schedule. What is your routine? So, for example, the millionaires, when I ask them, so what do you do? They always say meditate. They meditate. Let me tell you why. Because when you start to become bigger in your career, you're going to have more responsibilities. Thanks. And highly successful people need to be able to take high stressful situations because guess what i was just telling him this in the car and y'all gonna see on my vlog i was just telling him this in the car you know what i'm saying um i'm a person where i'm here to help heal people so that means sometimes we can take on baggage yeah. so me being the healed person i have to know how to alleviate that him being born on the, on the 11th he can feel other people's emotions so we have to have routine to regulate us joe dispenza you feel me another thing that i want to say is consistency and repetition that goes back into routine and also aggression you have to be aggressive millionaires are impatient you hear me they're impatient now they're impatient but patient at the same time what yeah. i mean by that is what kobe bryant Don't said is exactly what kobe bryant said is that <clears throat> you want to be the best basketball player but you want to try to get there tomorrow and then when tomorrow yes. comes you want to try to get there tomorrow you gotta and have the perfect exactly balance between it. Yes. exactly so rich people wealthy people are impatient when they get an idea this is in think and grow rich when you get an idea you need to act on it fast michael jackson even talked about that so that's another thing to go from seven to eight is one so you got to be aggressive and you don't never want to be comfortable that's like that's the number one thing you don't exact that's a big that's the you third never, one that's a big you one never want to be comfortable like mm -hmm. and then another thing you want to learn how to love being uncomfortable. uncomfortable when you can learn how to love being uncomfortable bro at that point like you success is your blood like success is your dna it's you literally you see what i'm saying because a lot of people let's say this right let's say boom people watching this podcast let's say boom this podcast go out and let's say all of a sudden boom something happened boom i just get like a million subscribers i get a million subscribers that don't mean take this, off. Pod, this podcast get like three million views i get a whole bunch of money from this oh people start and then i then i can become a millionaire within a year right like, i'm chilling boom. and then uh, imagine if that happened and then all of a sudden i'm like for sure like i'm straight, I'm straight. now like i'm chill yep. what you mean what you, I ain't straight. I ain't, that's time to keep going man. what Oh, I just got a million? Okay, cool. Three three podcast yeah, episodes a week. Let's go. You see what I'm saying? Now it's time to turn it up. Don't get to the top of the mountain and just say, okay, well, I'm, I'm good. good now. What Where's are you talking about? One? What are you talking about? Now it's time to keep going, keep going, keep going. Simply. Exactly. And I want to oh, and I I even want to touch on that. Let me tell y'all something. That moment when you win a championship, and I recommend a book. I, I just gave him these two books. The mm -hmm. first book that I recommend, Relentless. All right. Relentless by Tim Grover. The second book is called Winning by Tim Grover. That is the trainer of Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan, all right? Those books will teach you about understanding work ethic and how winning really is. If you think that the moment that you win, that that's it, you got another thing coming for you. One thing Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan will always do is once they win that championship, they look to their trainer and say, so when we when we getting back in the gym? When are we getting back in the gym? So what y'all need to understand is, do not get comfortable. If you're getting comfortable, you already lost, bro. Never get comfortable. You should always be trying to grow and do more. That's the problem. A lot of people are telling you to get comfortable and complacent. You see how comfortable and complacent both start with C-O-N, right? So what you have to understand is that, number one, don't let nobody make you feel bad for wanting more. That's the whole point. It's not about being greedy, but it's about wanting to get better at all times. If I can have an abundance, why should I settle? It's wanting to evolve. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Simple as that. But it's not chasing that. It's not becoming obsessed with it's it to the, the point routine. where... It's being. And this is another thing I feel like this is so important. We don't need to mix, I guess you could say, external things with the way we feel about ourselves. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like a lot of people try to base like, oh, if I don't make a lot of money today, oh, I feel bad. But if I make a lot of money today, I feel happy. No matter what mm -hmm. happens, I'm going to feel happy. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because like, getting money is just getting money. Like, that shouldn't dictate That's not how an happy abundant I am. mindset. That's exactly. not an abundant mindset. Exactly. Like, like, getting money is just getting money. Having success is just having success. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, I love myself. I'm happy why be broke like it, i don't have to be broke i can get it. it's like it's, it's people out here that's billionaires that's not happy with themselves exactly. yo i'm happy why can exactly. i be a billionaire you it, know what i'm saying like why not get money mm -hmm. what's wrong with that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? like what's really wrong and i feel like hold on we gotta talk about this 
I feel like the like people that's conscious or they, you know what I'm saying, be called themselves spiritual, whatever the case may be, it's like they look at, and I used to, I had trouble with this. I literally got videos of me being 17 saying, oh, mm -hmm. F money. I got a whole video of me ripping a $100 bill and have like, oh, I don't need that. And 17 though, but it was like, yo, I feel like it's like, yo, it's like people trying to look at money like it's so bad or something. Bro, money is just Let me tell money. you, let me tell you. Like, it's just, go ahead, go ahead. So, we, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a make my way to that. Okay. Bet. Number one, I want to talk about something going to money and talk about with Joe Dispenza. He said that an abundant person knows how to lose money gracefully. Bet. So what that means is that only rich people lose big amounts of money. Like, do y'all realize that rich people lose more money than you ever lost, right? Basketball players miss more shots than you ever miss. So what y'all got to realize is that whatever it is that you want to become, you got to learn how to lose first before you win. So that's another thing. If you are afraid to lose money, oh, number no, one, you're not really abundant because the wealthy person understands that that is a part of the journey. You're going to spin and waste. Money come and go. They, but what is money? Like, for you to sit here and get sad about losing something that is a part of the journey, like, it's like getting sad about missing a shot in basketball when that's a part of the journey. Now, going back to the whole money situation of people being afraid with money, let me tell y'all something, right? And, and even saying, like, money doesn't matter. What y'all have to understand is that even before money, there was trading and bartering. Mm -hmm. So there was always an exchange. All they did was put it in a form of paper, right? So what y'all have to realize is that by demonizing money, all you do is actually throw darts at your most abundant self and you're telling your most abundant self, I don't like you. I don't like what you do. The fact that you're rich, I don't like it. You're evil, right? Not realizing that you're equating things that you see on TV. You're equating things that you hear about certain people to just money in general when there's people out here using money to help. And that's another thing too. When you're actually abundant, you actually give more than anything. Rich people are like, don't worry, I got it, I'll pay for it. But the fact that you go to a dinner and you're like, uh-uh, that was like 30 cents extra. That <laughs> was like, that oh was my like, God. That, like, that actually shows that you're not abundant because Yo. abundant people, when, think about it, when oh, you got girl. money, when you got money in your pocket, you like, girl, you want something? I got it, right? You need to be like that. And here's an example that I want to give y'all. This is a real money example, right? I just told somebody, they was like, um, you know, my mom like has like my little phone bill or whatever, right? And she was like, oh, like you could just pay me later because I know you're traveling or whatever, or whenever you want to or whatever. I was like, no, I got it. I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna pay my phone bill. What are you talking about? I got it. But imagine if I would have waited. Even whatever she's saying is insinuating, oh, pay it later, cause you may not have it. So when you don't pay it, right and you literally go with that belief of oh yeah i'll pay it later oh yeah i'll pay it later what you're telling yourself is you're gonna pay it later because you don't have it now but even if you're scraping it together to pay it now what you're telling yourself is i have it so what y'all gotta start doing is look at the situations that y'all put yourself in with money don't be like oh i'm gonna pay it at the last minute what are you insinuating to yourself thanks and i gotta say this because hey i just started my two cut master university link in the description go join that but I, i'm talking about that specifically because somebody just takes me on there because if you join the school you can text me whenever you want boom somebody just takes me on there is that what we talking about he said yo do you have any tips on letting go of the attachment of trying to control my life because everything i mean every time i every time i try to truly believe i'm abundant it's a situation popping up that makes me stress about money aka my current situation like how did you fully trust the vine and let go uh, is there anything specific you did? And I told him just like this. That's literally the divine testing you. If you really abundant, then it's no reason to worry. When you walk through the worries with your head high, that's when the divine rewards you. Bro, you got to really be abundant for he just real. Started the, the, he literally, he don't even realize that, yeah. that, and this is something Myron Golden said. I'm, all, I'm giving y'all resources to study. Myron Golden said, when you go to the gym, the first day you actually get weaker right when you get on your wealth journey you actually go broker or or cheaper whatever Ooh, whatever whatever, 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 the, whatever whatever the word is because guess what the journey it, the journey starts here then it goes up then it goes down then it go up then it go down then it goes it's up. like the stock market it's like the stock so, market. exactly so what you're realizing is that you just started the journey to making more money even though it looks like the opposite you got to look at this right 
this physical realm is actually reversed right why am i saying that i'm about to say some deep shit so just just follow me some major yeah, yeah, yeah. no nah, not even that not even that, not right, even that but just listen on. this is some, this is some really deep stuff that i'm about to tell y'all when you start looking at the matrix like this you're gonna start realizing not everything is what it looks like believe half of what you see right Facts. so half let's even talk about these phones right these phones y'all are seeing us honestly flipped Flip, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So what you gotta realize is that when when somebody likes you, they act like they don't like you. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of these things are illusions. It's mirrors. So you're thinking, oh, universe is making me broker, and it's like, no, actually, you need to look at the flip side of it, and you can't always trust what you see because guess what? You can look at your bank account, and your bank account can look like it's negative thirty dollars, but you don't even realize that there's a whole wire coming in in the next three days. But because you're too busy trusting what you see, you don't even realize that there's something already on the way it's getting you more comfortable with losing money as well because because that's a say? part of the journey yeah, what did you just say though you have to learn yeah, how to lose, lose the most money. Amount of money exactly Facts. and once you get comfortable with losing, losing money, money yep. your attachment to it you're gonna be like i don't care don't because care. you'll start to realize that the flow look at the number oh, eight God, look, like, that look at the so number eight real, if though. you're too attached to your money you're not allowing it to flow let me tell you why Money, I like to call her Monet, doesn't like when you don't let her out. So when you're just like a girl, so oh my you, God. exactly. So when you don't let her out, she starts to resent you. You have to be willing let to it let it go for it to come back more. You feel me? Look at the number eight. Eight is the number of money. You have to let it go in a cycle because guess what? If you hold it here, you're only gonna create a blockage where that energy can't come back around. So let it go. Pay, let it go to the right places the, though. Exactly. Let it go to the right places though. That don't exactly. mean go to the club. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and that don't mean that. Yo. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all having all these past due things is actually hurting your money energy. The fact that you owe somebody money is hurting your money energy. It's creating another blockage because that should have been a flow where that money should have went through that door. Because guess what? The same way that them people want their money, don't you want somebody to buy your stuff? But guess what? If you're not paying people for what they doing for you, people are not going to pay you for what they doing, what you doing for them. Thanks. You feel me? That's real. That's, That's real, real, man. Hey man, hey man, we got one more. I got oh, I got one more question. Okay. So look, this is perfect. What are three books? Because you were talking about books. Yeah. What are three books that you would recommend everybody watching this right now? Number one is Mastery by Robert Greene. I've read that book like Mastery six by times. Robert Greene. Mastery okay. by Robert Greene talks about your purpose, how to master anything that you do, emotional intelligence. Um, the second book that I would recommend is um, Neville Goddard. Um, Neville Goddard Awakened Imagination mm -hmm. teaches about manifestation and then you got to go back to the basics of Think and Grow Rich. Think facts, and Grow yeah, Rich. Yeah, facts, facts, think facts. and Grow Rich. I read it two years ago. Definitely. Think and Grow Rich. But hey, one thing Rob Proctor said is you got to keep reading that book. Keep reading. Oh, yeah, yeah, for over. sure. Play it in the morning. Read, Get the audio book. Exactly. Play it in the morning. I read, for these, sure. I read these books over and over and over and over and over and, and over. And over. <laughs> and over. And over. And over. <laughs> over and over. Because guess what? When you read a book, what you got the first time is not what you're going to get the second time. What you get the second time is not what you're going to get the third time. Mm -hmm. And that subconscious reprogramming is what's going to allow it to become like law to you. I'm telling you, Bob Proctor said that too. Another book, one last book too, The Science of Getting Rich. By who? I don't know. Ah, just look that up. The Science of Getting the Rich. The Science of Getting Rich. I'm going to give y'all two books as well, too. Actually, I'm going to give y'all three books. First book I'm going to give you is... Uh, I already know what the, you got to say. The, what am I going to say? The Way of the Superior Man. Okay, that was, gonna, that was my second book. Okay, the okay. Way of the Superior Man, for sure, for sure. And then the second one is The 80-20 Rule by Perry Marshall. Okay? I'm going to read that. Yeah, read that. you read that? I'm going to read it. Oh, yeah, that's good because pretty much what that book talks about is, yo, pretty much is like, you got to understand the 80-20 Rule, that's everything in life. It's like 20% of your efforts result in 80% of your outcome. Okay. No, 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 it results in 80% of your results. You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's even with business. 20% mm -hmm. of your clients results in 80% okay. of your money. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? That's so true. it's like focus on that 20% and then you gotta think it's the other way around too. 80% of your efforts lead to 20% of your results. So at that point, it's like, yo, you gotta cut out those efforts that only lead to 20% of the results. This is like, and that's millionaire game. That's funny, millionaire game. You know what's funny? What? You said, you said 2080? Yeah. 28? Oh shit. <laughs> 28 is the number of wealth. 
28 is the number of wealth. Mm -hmm. So when people do things, so people should do things more on the 28th when it comes to wealth. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates, Elon Musk, the two richest men mm -hmm. in the world, both born on the 28th. Apple, mm -hmm. Apple, when you add up the date of when Apple was founded, as of the 28th. Mm -hmm. Steve Jobs, 28 life path. You mean to tell me your mm -hmm. business and you a 28 life path? It's not coincidence. DDG a 20, uh, 28 20, life path. I remember you told so me remember, that. remember, spiritual soul is like spiritual soul is like DDG only cares about money. He's a 28 life path. Mm. He's living in his he's living in his um what he's supposed to do. And if you look at people in their in their fields, the richest people, like the richest actor, mm -hmm. is a 28 life path. Mm. I came out with my two cut master university on the 28. Exactly. Hey, that's hard. And I think my last book, because you know I got to show myself out. Stay Art by Von Tu Cut. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's on Amazon. Go get that. That's a book about mm -hmm. healing your childhood trauma. And that's a quick book, too. Quick read. Mm -hmm. Healing your childhood trauma. Detach it from ego and understanding that everything mm -hmm. is literally art. Even this camera that we own yep. right now, this whole room is a design. Everything yep. is art. So mm -hmm. now, what helped me, me writing that book, because I already got the information. That's why I wrote the book. But actually writing it helped me understand. It's like, yo, like... That information that I gained. That book, that thing about to die, so. Oh, that information that I gained was literally like, yo, I put it in a book, aka I made it into art. So it's like, if you don't know what to do, you need to say, if you don't know what to do in life, you need to simply have the mindset of, yo, I just want to create art. Exactly. Create anything. Tr transmute your dark emotions and all your trauma into art. Exactly. Put it on canvases. Put it in the studio. See what I'm saying? Make yep. a business. Create that into art. But hey, this was a perfect podcast. Thank for you. Show, thank for you. Sure. Hold on. Hold on. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right, you mean that I'm trying, hey man, my, my hand is sweating. Oh, my man, hand man. is sweating. You feel me? It's hot. Hey, I you appreciate y'all tuning into the podcast. Hey, hey, let's get I'm, it. My name is I'm Sticks River. He'll have me tagged. All right, yeah, for sure. Let's, let's go. get it. Hey, listen, y'all, for all my it's people, for all my people here on TikTok. Y'all make sure y'all click the link in my bio. Join Sticks' Mystery School. This is the this is the type of content that we put out. You feel me? If you're looking to learn about magnetism, you're looking to learn about how to become more magnetic in your reality. I use psychology to become more magnetic. One thing that I tell people is that if you want to become more <coughs> magnetic, you want to get that job interview. You want to come in and literally get people to align with what you're doing. Do y'all understand that us being able to talk like this is a form of magnetism? If you want to be an influencer... If you want to be famous artists, if you want to be whatever it is that you say that you want to be, you, you need an ability to be able to speak to people. You know what I'm saying? So if you're looking to join the magnetism class, remember what I told you about magnetism, DM me your birthday. The class is $99.91. We teach people how to be influential. We teach people about body language. We teach people that, hey, if you want to talk to someone, let me tell you something, right? So if, let's say Vaughn, Mm -hmm. It's someone that I want to become friends with, right? The first thing that you need to understand is that you need to initiate contact. Don't just be like, hey, Vaughn. No, you need to go, hey, Vaughn, how are you? What you just did there, you already implemented yourself in his aura through the body language, right? Now, when you're talking to him, you need to understand vocal tonality. If you mm. keep talking like this throughout the whole conversation, people are not going to be interested. And if you are a YouTuber, if you are on TikTok and you want people to watch your videos, you got to have energy. So one thing that you realize is that... Vaughn being born on the 11th, he naturally has charisma. So what he does is he'll start talking like this and then go louder because he understands that that's what keeps people in tune. Yeah. So if you know that you are a music artist, you want more people to your business, your entrepreneur, you need to network with more people. You want more people to be connected to what you have going on. You're a YouTuber. You want people to watch your videos. You want people to listen to you because a lot of y'all be, be speaking, but nobody's listening. And that's because you don't know how to get your message across. A lot of y'all just watched almost an hour and you was in tune the whole hour, right? Some people have so short attention spans that some people can't even stay along with that because whoever is talking doesn't have the ability to speak or have that magnetism. A lot of y'all looked at, out, at us, right? Look at us. Look at us, right? Look at how our skin comes off. Look at how we take care of ourselves. We look like royalty also because of our own energy and our magnetism. A lot of y'all literally stopped and watched us 
just because of what we look like. That is called aesthetic alchemy. That is also something that I teach in magnetism. If you want people to listen to you, you also have to play the part. Aesthetic alchemy. You see, a lot of y'all think that making sure that you look good is superficial. But let's be real. I don't want to listen to nobody that don't know how to take care of themselves. Because if you don't know how to take care of yourself, you don't know how to take care of your business. Do it for yourself. Just don't exactly. be a dirty person. Exactly. You know what I'm saying, and that's, bro? And, like... that's, and that's magnetism. You feel me? So if you know that you need to learn how to be more magnetic... Go ahead, DM me your birthday because that's the only way that I check if you're eligible. Not everybody's able to enter my class because of the fact that magnetism can become, look at the wordplay, manipulative if the wrong people are using it. You get what I'm saying? So it's $99.91. If you look at that price, it adds up to $28. All right. So DM me your birthday if you want to join the magnetism class. All right. And the one thing that I'm really trying to do is teach people how to... Um, get connected with people teach people how to get their message out how many of y'all are youtubers how many of y'all are looking to you know create a fan base how many of y'all are artists how many of y'all are entrepreneurs and you don't know how to network do you get social anxiety do you get social anxiety when when you like someone does that take up your whole life and you don't know yeah this is von two cut I, I need to get your tiktok too so people can you know All what right, I'm saying? hey baby, baby, hey at von two cut management Exactly. I'm going to put it in the comments, right? All right, bet. So, Von yeah, man. Von 2 Cut Management MGMT. Von 2 Cut MGMT. Yeah, man. So, if you want to join the magnetism class, go ahead and DM me your birthday. All right? Go ahead and DM me your birthday. Like I said, it's $99.91 for you to learn this. And um, as you can see, we know how to speak. We know how to get people to listen. That is a tool. That is a tool. You can DM me on TikTok or Instagram. It's easier if you DM me on Instagram because I can send you the direct link, all right? And if you're looking to listen to more occult information, you want to learn about manifestation, you want to learn about numerology, you want to learn about spirituality, then join the mystery school. You could just click the link in my bio with that one, all right? So listen, man, I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to me on YouTube. This whole live is going to be on his YouTube, and I'm going to have parts yeah. of it on my YouTube. Bonsu all right? On YouTube. Let's so get it. make sure y'all follow us on Instagram, because guess what? Tonight, we are going live at 9 p.m., okay? Eastern time, all right? Tonight, we are going live at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, hey! 9 p.m. Eastern time, all right? And if you want to book a numerology reading, you can also go ahead and DM me. I literally do numerology readings too, all right? So, I love you guys. And later, all right? DM me. Let me say it one more time. If you want to join the magnetism class. This right here is a part of magnetism. You see how right when I'm telling you, I lowered my vocal tonality? If you want to join the magnetism class, DM me your birthday, right? It's $99.91 to join the class, okay? DM me your birthday on Instagram or TikTok, all right? Love you guys and later.